Now, Roger's killing spree began inside his apartment where he stabbed his two roommates and one of their friends to death. News Channel 3's Tracy Lair joins us live from the Capri Apartments in Isla Vista right now. And Tracy, you have more on how he killed those men without anybody knowing about it. That's right, CJ. It is hard to believe. This is the apartment where officers did a welfare check on Elliot Roger last April, and it's where the killings began on a Friday night in May. Investigators fearing booby traps entered Elliot Roger's apartment through a bathroom window. That's where they found George Chen in a fetal position. The 19-year-old friend of Roger's roommates had been stabbed the most, 94 times. It appears he was killed last. David Wang was stabbed 15 times, his body partially hidden under a blanket in the bedroom he shared with Chen Hong. Hong stabbed 25 times, had been dragged into the room, his backpack still on. Investigators say blood was smeared on hallway walls as if Roger had tried to clean it. What he didn't hide in his bedroom was his laptop with his last video and manifesto, and a search history that included quick silent kill with a knife and Heinrich Himmler, a Nazi who committed suicide May 23rd, the same day Roger took his own life. His bedroom also contained anxiety and antidepressant drugs, an open bottle of champagne and monster drinks. Many students said they didn't know about apartment 7 until after they moved in. The apartment has since been remodeled and rented. I just thought it was like a, I'm gutsy of them to actually like, like want to live in that room knowing that three people died. So I, like personally, I would never want to live in there. And like personally, I don't know why they still let people live in that room after what happened. Neighbors said they didn't hear screams, but many heard gunshots. I heard the gunshots and immediately went outside. And by the time I kind of went outside and like, was in the whole thing. There was cops everywhere. They're like, stay back, stay inside. Roger's last diary entry said, I hate you all, die. He hurt the whole community. I mean, we were all surprised by what happened and we were all affected by it. So whether we were physically hurt or emotionally hurt, it affected all of us. Hours before the eight minutes that took three more lives and injured 14, Roger stopped at Starbucks and charged a triple vanilla latte. The report also said he had a life coach to help him with loneliness. Many students say they plan to read all the details for themselves. Yeah, I would have gotten shot, so it is like something that like hits very close to home for me. So I would definitely be interested in reading something like that. And you'll find a link to the mass murder summary on our website at KUIT.com. In Isla Vista, Tracy Lair, News Channel 3.